Hello there. Now I'm allowed in. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. Who the fuck are you? I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. I've been in multiple times. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. I've been in the bazaar. Why is it acting like I've never been in the bazaar? Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. <laughs> He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Well, once I turn, kill me. To the Don't kill me before I turn. Fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Shitful. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A caterpillar. A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. I'm just gonna fucking fine, kill you, my guy. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. And Go I'm... that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. I really just want to kill him. And I have no doubt that I'd be able to kill Someone's every been other person in here. And nobody's doing anything about it. Oh. <sighs> Sophie, can we talk? <sighs> Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. Oh, never mind. My burn is really beefy. He looked itty bitty. He looks like a normal man. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Okie dokie. But I've done that. I talked to the guy and killed the sheep. What else do you want from me? I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Have you ever planted chamomile? It's good for digestion. <laughs> chamomile? Hell, I can't even get that in the sprout. Maybe try Buddy? That. Buddy! Hey, mister! Seen a dog anywhere? 
pretty big, thick black fur, chases balls like a puppy, but he's pretty old, actually. Uh, nope. I haven't seen any dogs around here. Buddy's a stray, but he shows up here every day to play with me. I take him home, but my uncle won't let me. Maybe one day. Wish I had a dog. They're pretty cool. Cool? You don't know the half of it. I mean, listen to this. Dogs have 112 more bones than people. And a higher body temperature. But Buddy, his nose is always cold. And it's not true they only see in black and white. I have two toy balls, and Buddy always fetches the blue one. It's his favorite. Oh, bummer, kid. But I'm in a rush. I'll tell you what. If I see Buddy, I'll let you know. Thanks. Oh, don't be offended if he runs away from you. He plays with me, but won't go near strangers. I'll keep that in mind. Woof. Exhausting kid. He was not exhausting, you're just a shit person. I was actually intrigued. Stay away from the chemicals, bro. Wonder who killed Lucas. You didn't have to work so quickly. Going to sad faces today? He's a murderer! Aiden, tell them! Tell them Marco poisoned the water! Stop blaming others for your crimes! Aiden knows the truth! What are you waiting for, Ed? Hold on. This is serious business. So let's hear what Aiden has to say. Bevan's husband, Luke, he's dead. Julian says you know the truth. So tell us what you know. I visited Julian's supplier. There's nothing wrong with his water. I told you, string him up. But, but I didn't poison the water. Guys, Aiden. Get him out of my sight, Ed. Stop, please. Don't do this to me. Let's go, Julian. You can plead your case to the council. I forgot that I, um, told what's his face that I do that. In the old school. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, information. Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? No, well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Oh, Half-assed no. Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But... Getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. 
When you're there, give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. Fuck me, people will always complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. I'm Damien. Hey. Okay. You're new here, right? Uh, yes. Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. I'm sure it's not yeah, gonna be easy me like that. I'm just giving you information. Well, um, I like the idea of the finding... What's his face? Uh, no. Wait, what? Did she blow it? Oh, I forgot about that. We'll do this one. Find him. It's like... Yeah. What's my crafting? Do that. I currently have zero. Uh, craft max, because I always need medicine. Drop all of them. Gracious, ridiculous blockade of the city. And just between us, you won't regret it. Alright, we'll go find what's his face. I don't know if this is the place. My my oh yeah, inside quest area. I'm just gonna beat the crowd out. Come on, come outside. Burn in the daylight. <laughs> Looks like they're like trying to fizzle. How many we got? Just the one. Thumb them. I'm gonna kill. Oh, you. Ah. There we go. I need to try. I need to start killing more zombies. I need to get. See, I don't know if those are worth it. I don't know how to do that, whether it's spam F or not. As simple as I just needed to climb up. Please, let me go. 
It was. I'm just silly. Thanks, game. Hello? There you go. You again? Oh, there you are. How'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is... Oh, he told me to say sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. I bet. See that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job, I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> hmm. No wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here. Take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. So this is a military base? Yeah, they sprang up all over the city at the start of the outbreak. The base has a military side and a civilian side. <laughs> military side has a good stuff. The civilian side probably has more infected than loot. Look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong. Once you're inside, be careful. Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> That'll help against the biters that'll be camping out there. Why do you work for Dodger? You need to ask. Same reason as you. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Dodger tips me off where I might find valuables and I go there. If I find some good stuff, I take a cut. A tiny one. A sliver. You know what vultures guys like Dodger are. It's barely enough to live on, but... It's better than nothing, I guess. The worst is when Dodger gives me a bum lead. Then I get fuck all. That's happened more than once. No skin off Dodger's nose, though. He's got plenty of guys like me working for him. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. Not that I'm in a hopeless situation, but can you hurry? <laughs> All right. How are you holding up? I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine, thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey, hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then part of a wall collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, 
I gotta make good on a promise. Here. If you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. Not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah, like peacocks singing the hallelujah chorus. All right, let's go. See that howler just spawn in? I can't scan. There we go. I still don't know if the, um, porch, like, attracts them or not, so I'm just gonna take my chances. I'm not gonna loot anything, but if they're right and I can turn on some more generators and kill, like, half of them, I'm not gonna bother fighting them and I'll just get all the loot afterwards. I say that and then I'll loot that, but two different stories. Where are we going? I don't even know where I'm meant to be going, you know? This might be a longer episode, a bit over half an hour, depends how much I'm taking out post-recording. I might speed through this area, uh, put in fast forward a bit maybe. I reckon that'd be pretty wacky. But it may mean that you're not missing out on anything. I don't know if they can get in here. I'm gonna hope not. I'd like to turn on the generator. Here we go. There we go. Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. I was 
able to... Oh, that's true. <coughs> Like I struck gold. A bottle of risen glory cognac. And some cigars. Hmm, Cubans, the box says. Cuban cigar. Everything of value. Time to head out of here. Some comfy shoes. We got myself some new shoes. So from solid shoes to comfy shoes. Uh, everything's good except for the range, but that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Um, yeah. That's nearly dead, but this one. Oh, I can put this in now. Nice. Nice. I'll have that equipped. What is this? Meat bait. Oh well. Uh, three. Three. Yeah. Easy lemon squeezy. <laughs> ah, I guess it's if I don't have enough stamina. They've given people who put um, stuff into. Oh no, you don't need stamina. It's weird. I'm not sure then. Try and rub me. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. Was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? Was it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Hubert was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. Five against one, still not too bad. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. Four corpses? They me some trouble. Well, we Who the fuck is that? Guys, <laughs> we've got one. Stand there. <laughs> Go kill him. <laughs> You're done. Holy! <laughs> 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 you like me now, <laughs> What the fuck? 
I was so far away. Anyway. Are you serious right now? I dodged again. It jumped instead of dodging. Hey there, jackass! Oh, come on, game. I'm dodging, but he's eating his um. Fuck you! Oh yeah! Come on! there and running out of record time. But, thank you guys. Ooh, where's the last guy? Well, I didn't do that. Where's the last guy? There he is. But, if you guys did enjoy the episode, and I'm glad you liked it, and I'm glad you enjoyed it, um, next episode we'll be doing what? We'll be going talk about the bandits with Hubert. Ah, we'll go confront Hubert. Okay, we'll do that in the next episode. I thank you guys again for watching, keeping the support on the series. This